вот эти 8 батальона тактических групп, которые зашли в ЛДНР в августе месяце, с середины мая на полигонах Ростова готовили вот эти вот 6-8 батальона тактических групп. Павел Губрев, the former leader of the Russian forces in Donetsk, has turned Russia in and refuted Putin's lies, who claimed that the Russian army did not take part in the war against Ukraine in 2014. Gubarev admitted that in August 2014 Russia introduced eight battalion tactical groups of its regular army into the Donetsk region and described in detail how this invasion was prepared. According to Gubarev, Russia began preparing its army for the invasion of Ukraine in May 2014, when there was no fighting in Donbass at all, and this invasion army was prepared, among others, by Dmitry Atkin with the callsign Wagner, the same one who later commanded Prigozhin's private army and was blown up in an airplane with him. I know that these eight battalion tactical groups которые зашли в ЛДНР в августе месяце и спасли Донецкую и Луганскую Народные Республики. Одну из этих БТГР командовал Дмитрий Валерьевич Уткин. И подготавливаться эти БТГР на полигонах в России начали с середины мая. Как вам такое? Not BAD.ASI've predicted many times, sooner or later the collaborators will get tired of lying and spouting all this nonsense about internal conflict. And they will openly admit that Russia did invade Donbass back in 2014 and the Russian army took part in the fighting then. And that's how it turned out. Now they are openly admitting that there was no civil war, there was no war between Ukraine and Donbass, as they said at the time. There was no internal conflict, but essentially Russian aggression, which started in 2014. It started, I remind you, with Crimea, and then continued in Donbass. That is, as we are now being told quite openly and in all colors, they began preparing this invasion of the Donetsk region as early as May 2014. And this invasion was realized in August 2014 at Ilovaysk. And all the stories about some rebels and miners, tractor drivers, who allegedly rebelled against Ukraine there, were just lies to cover up this invasion. And now Gubarev himself admits that all these so-called rebels did not represent any independent force. It was just a disguise, and in fact the fighting against Ukraine was introduced by the regular Russian army, which was commanded by this Wagnerian Utkin. And accordingly, if Russia had not intervened, had not gotten involved there, if the Russian army had not entered, the Ukrainian army would have long ago established order in Donbass. And there would be a calm, quiet, peaceful life there today, and tens of thousands of people in Donbass would be alive. Ну спасли в августе, да? То есть благодаря вот этим вот силам, которые зашли, вот и вытащили всю ситуацию котлы там и лавайские там и так далее. То, что не дали на растерзание, ну факт, факт же. Ну откуда вот эти 8 БТГР отпускников пришли? Откуда? Они с неба, с луны свалились или что? У нас же, у нас же все сыпалось, мы теряли по несколько городов в день. Там была идея оставить Донецк, там э, штаб Стрелкова уже в Снежное переехал, я вернулся из Ростова в Донецк, где штаб? The video that you are watching right now, these confessions of Gubrev, these testimonies of Gubrev, it is extremely important to bring it to the maximum number of people so that everyone knows what is really happening in Donbass, in Ukraine. So help spread it right now, leave a like or comment on my video, so it will get more views, get more coverage and subscribe to the channel right now, it's really important, because you see, today the Russians or the collaborators who worked for them, and Pavel Gubarev is one of the main instigators of the war in Donbass, openly, without any shyness, they recognize that we in Ukraine from the very beginning, since 2014, we have been telling the truth about this conflict.
We spoke the truth that Ukraine is at war with Russia, not with some insurgents, not with some inhabitants of Donbass. And this is a Russian invasion. Russia attacked us, not some people's republics, which, of course, no one took seriously. And no matter how much Russian propaganda scolded and accused me or other Ukrainian journalists of lying, that we fabricated everything, that there is no Russian army in Donbass, that we have an internal conflict, that means that Ukraine is at war with Donbass, that everything that Ukrainians tell about the war with Russia is not true. And now they, these same people, look, they themselves confirm and admit that they have been lying all these years. And we, accordingly, have been telling the truth about what is happening all these years in Ukraine. По моим данным, с середины мая на полигонах Ростова готовили вот эти вот 6-8 батальона технических групп, вот одну из которых возглавлял Уткин. Вот это был прообраз того самого Вагнера, в который это все вылилось в итоге. Там, в частности, в Грачи, Сваты, вот которые с юга заходили. Уткин был тяжело ранен. Вот, ну, выжил и как бы дальше служить начал. Шесть орденов мужества, дважды герой. All of the Kremlin's justifications for Russia's invasion of Ukraine are now based on the fact that there has allegedly been a civil war in Ukraine since 2014, and now Russia is trying to end it. Мы не начинали так называемую войну на Украине. Напротив, мы пытаемся ее закончить. Война-то была начата, вы знаете, это гораздо лучше, чем кто-либо другой, не нами, а в 2014 году. But as the Russians themselves now openly admit, the war in 2014 was initially started by Putin, who had already ordered the invasion of Ukraine. No one hides this anymore. That is, Putin is not trying to end the war, as he convinces us, but he started it from the beginning, and thanks to him it has been going on for almost 10 years. And all those people who hypocritically ask where you have been for 8 years, for some reason they shamefully keep silent about the fact that all these 8 years the war has been going on only because Russia initially unleashed it and then waged it. That is the only reason why people in Donbass have been dying and suffering all this time. If Russia had not invaded there, if Russia had not gotten involved, there would have been no war in Donbass. Because Pavel Gubarev himself admits quite openly that the Russian local forces in Donbass, they did not constitute any independent force. They would not have been able to wage war without Russia's participation. This is what one of the leaders of these Russian forces is saying. And there is no reason not to trust him in this matter. Subscribe to the channel, friends. As you can see, this is where the truth about what has been going on in Donbass all this time comes out.